Welcome to Wisdom to Win. I'm Dr. Clarice Fluitt, your supernatural life coach, and I am inviting you today. Oh, we have such a wonderful story to tell to you about the resurrection of the dead, about things that happen, answered prayer, amazing things that you can walk in. Don't go away. It will be a great day for you. Welcome to Wisdom to Win with Dr. Clarice Fluitt, your supernatural life coach. Today's program is going to leave you breathless. We're going to be talking about the power to raise the dead, incredible, wonderful things about the goodness of our wonderful Savior, the Messiah, the Son of the living God, is alive and wanting to do incredibly wonderful things in your life and the life of your friends, your neighbors, your family. I am excited to tell you of a great experience that I had. And you know, the telling of testimonies, faith cometh by hearing, and hearing the incredible Word of God. So I want to encourage you in your faith, because without faith, it's just impossible to please God. So this is a story. I was in New Jersey at a wonderful church, and the pastor had told me that there was a young child, he's six weeks old, and the mother named Toby, that they had moved to America from Kenya, and she had a, one child named Goodness and the other one's named Mercy, and that the, the little one was very, very, very sick. It was just one of those terrible things, and he had a heart failure and just was in a very delicate situation. And the mother had come to church knowing I was going to be there and knowing that I did pray for the sick and God worked miracles for us. And so they brought the baby in and it was very, very, very sick. The baby was very fragile. I prayed for the child, laid my hands on it. Now this is important for you to hear because the scripture says, believe the prophets and you will prosper. God says, I'm not going to do anything that I don't first tell the prophets to do. And that one is not greater than the other, but we are different then. We carry different unctions and different anointings to be able to be a blessing to the body of Christ. So the mother having full faith that something wonderful was going to happen with her little baby, she came to church at a great sacrifice to herself, taking care of a three-year-old and a newborn and not knowing the city. She was there believing that something good would happen to her baby. Well, I laid my hands on the little fella, and his little heart was beating so fast, and he was having such a terrible time being able to breathe. And you just realize the spirit of death was all around this little guy. And I prayed for him and spoke prophetically, you shall live and not die. Now, don't forget that. Words, words, the kingdom of God is a kingdom of words. Jesus is the Word made flesh. Everything the Father ever had to say, He said it through the Lord Jesus Christ. And the amazing thing, those of us who are the redeemed, we are a Word. Jesus was the Word, but we are a Word that's always been in the mind of Christ. We have been sent forth. The Scripture says God's Word will not return to Him void, but it'll accomplish what it's sent forth to do. And so I was a Word that was sent forth to be able to help in this incredible situation, prayed for the child, and he settled down. He got very calm. And then after the service, we, we had a luncheon. And then again, little Toby began—no, uh, Toby is the mother, and little uh, goodness began to lose his breath, and it looked really, really grim. And all of us gathered around. Let me tell you what we did. Everybody had a scripture about healing, and we said it over and over, and we decreed the healing power of God's Word. God's Word does not only inform you, but transform you. Listen to what I'm telling you. It's not magical, but it's mystical. And God says, speak it, release it. And here we were, all of us praying, and the little fella calmed down again. Well, the next day, the mother took the baby to the doctor, and the doctor was a Muslim doctor, and he was brilliant, and he came in, and the baby lost its ability to breathe, and while the mother was in the other room, the heart quit beating, the lungs collapsed, and they pronounced the child dead. And they took the child and put it in another room, failed to tell the mother what was going on. And when she kept saying, where is my baby? What's going on? And they said, oh, your baby uh, is in room such and such. And she went in and saw that the little guy had no life in him. And she spoke. Let me tell you what she said. You shall live 
live and not die because the prophet spoke these words from God. God is not a man that he would lie. The mother chose to agree with God. Please hear what I'm saying. You know, people think, well, I tried. No, it's not trying, it's doing. The mother prophesied. She took the words I spoke to her. I took the words that God spoke to me. It, it all lines up with the infallible, inerrant Word of God. It's not something you make up. It's something you choose to believe. And she prayed over that baby. I, this story is so wonderful as to what actually took place, because she prayed over the baby, and she said, baby, you will come back to life. You will serve the cause of Christ. She says, let me tell you something, goodness. You have been prophesied over. You will awake from the dead. And the little fella caught his breath. You don't want to miss the rest of this story. This is an incredible time that you need to know God is a God of impossible cases. Do you have some impossible cases going on in your life? I'm going to come back here in just a minute, and don't you go away, because you're going to be delighted in this incredible story of goodness. Join us in just a few, few minutes here. God bless you. Welcome back. We have been talking about a mother's faith in the prophetic word of God that was spoken over her baby, and the baby went and manifest dying in the hospital, and the doctors and nurses had not told the mother at that time, and she later on was told where the baby is, and she went to the room and saw that her baby was gone, and she began to prophesy. She began to speak the Word of God. She said, you will live. His name is Goodness. And she said, you will live, and you will proclaim the Word of God. And she was so determined, the little fellow grabbed his breath after he had had a heart failure and his lungs had collapsed and just in serious condition, bam, because of the Word of God. You just got to know how powerful it is. When you begin to believe it, then you can transfer it to other people. That's my hope for you and me today, that I can transfer, impart, stir up, cause you to say, oh, there is a Savior, and, and He's wanting to work in my life. Oh, my goodness, it was just incredible what takes place. And so, her baby is breathing, and she's so excited, and this wonderful, bright Muslim doctor, heart doctor, comes in, and he said, this is the most amazing thing that I have ever seen. And the mother said, yes, it is amazing. It is the Messiah that has done this. We have asked in his name. And, and he said, it must be the Messiah. He says, it must be. He said, there's no way this baby could be breathing again. And the baby became strong enough, and the doctor operated on it, and the defect that was in the heart was healed. Now, that was about five years ago. I want you to know that today, little goodness is a busy little fella. He is all over the place. He is healthy and living a great life. You know, what would have happened? if that mother had not exercised her faith to bring her child to a meeting, to let people just speak the Word of God, to let the elders pray over her child, to follow in obedience to what she believed. It was not convenient. There are many times that the, getting to the answer that you want, it's not going to be always very, very convenient. But we press on. We press on toward finding the answer that we're looking for, the Shunammite woman. We begin to find all of these different stories in the Bible where we press in. God, you said, you said it was going to be this way. And that's exactly what took place. And so I want you to understand the power of the Word of God, that when you begin to take it into your heart and you choose to believe it, remember your brain wants to deal with facts. And facts are not bad, it's just that facts are not always truth. Truth and facts do not always mean the same thing. But many times when they do, it's a powerful thing that we begin to say, the fact is, Messiah has come, and His name is Jesus. So what we begin to do, all power in heaven and earth has been invested in that name. And then when Jesus left, He said, as the Father God sent me, I'm sending you. Oh, 
That means you and I, as believers, we not only have the privilege to be able to speak the Word of God, to heal the sick, to raise the dead, to cast out demons, to preach good news, to be filled with joy and peace and love, to prosper in every way. This is the life that you must choose to activate and to begin to say, the God of goodness is certainly alive and well today, waiting for men and women such as yourself to begin to say, I am a candidate. I am a candidate not only to receive, not only to believe, but to come to a place in my life that I can be the glove of God. God's hand can move through me and people can be touched. People can be spoken to. People can be, uh, they can find incredible faith and wonderful things because it is available. It's available to you. And simply, simply be able to say, Lord God, what this woman is telling me, it causes my heart to burn. Is there such a thing? Can I be a part? Can I be restored to that kind of walk? Yes. It's so easy. Simply just choose to say, I believe that the Messiah, the Jesus, is the Son of the living God, and I want Him in my life. I want to walk in the power. I want to walk in the authority. I want to walk in healing and wholeness and deliverance. This is the promise of God. The Word of God says, I've created you to be a head and not a tail, above and not beneath, to be blessed, to be empowered, to stand in a place of authority, to be healed, to be delivered of all oppression, and to prosper. God wants you to prosper. He wants you to walk in wholeness and health, and that every time we see sickness try to come upon someone's body, that's when we begin to say, no, no, in the authority of the name of Jesus, I stand in this place because I read from the Word of God that Jesus healed all who came to Him. I believe that as believers that there is an army of men and women on the face of this earth, that an incredible outpouring of the Spirit of the living God is creating a hunger in the hearts of great and mighty men and women to do things obviously that are of God. I'm going to have the opportunity today to pray with you. I'm going to speak and release that marvelous resurrection life in an amazing way, and you are going to be changed. Be right back. Don't you move that dial. Jesus prayed to God the Father, let your kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. In heaven there is no sickness, lack, demonic attacks, or strife. But how do we begin to obtain heaven on earth? Did you know that God's supernatural kingdom is voice activated? Clarice Fluitt wants to share with you the God-given keys to release God's Word into every situation and circumstance you face, and watch the supernatural kingdom of God begin to operate in your life. What I know I throw, and I teach others to do the same thing, the benefit of a with God is incredible. Get Clarice Fluitt's revelatory brand new book, Experiencing the Power of God's Word, and her two-part audio CD teaching, Activating the Word of God, exclusive for our It's Supernatural audience. Clarice Fluitt's brand new book contains God's toolbox for walking in the supernatural every day. God gave her key nuggets that will empower you to not only believe in God for the impossible, but to see healing and miracles manifest in your everyday life. Through her book, you will receive God's tool box for walking in the supernatural every day. Witness the positive impact that decreeing the Word of God will have upon your life. Learn how to decree God's Word over your life regularly in a way that empowers you to victory over the forces of darkness. Understand how to decree a thing so it will be established. It will not just inform you, but it will transform you. Through Clarice Fluitt's two-part audio CD series, which is exclusive for our It's Supernatural audience, you will learn how to activate all of God's promises contained in His Word for your life. Position yourself to begin to receive creative miracles, including body parts restored, the multiplication of food, divine provision, control of the weather, amazing ideas for success, and even inventions that can revolutionize the world you live in. Clarice includes powerful prayers of impartation on these CDs, including prayers for God's pure supernatural fire, prayers to reverse every curse, prayers to open up the portals of heaven, prayers for avenues of revenue, and the entrepreneurial spirit 
spirit. The feedback that I get is incredible. They're coming out of debt. They're coming out of sickness. They're coming out of loneliness. They are choosing to agree with God. Get Clarice Fluitt's revelatory brand new book, Experiencing the Power of God's Word, and her two-part audio CD teaching, Activating the Word of God, exclusive for our It's Supernatural audience. Available at ClariceFluitt.org. Welcome back. I told you I was going to pray for you today, and I am. We're going to begin praying for children. You know, I gave you this wonderful story, this wonderful testimony, how little goodness, this precious little six-week-old baby literally died. His lungs collapsed, his heart quit working, and his mother came back, and this is what she did. She believed the word of the prophet. The scripture says, believe the prophets and you will prosper. I come to you today with a prophetic voice. I come speaking words of encouragement, words of enlightenment, words of revelation, and if you will begin to apply them, it's like, uh, you know, we talk about the goodness of the gospel. This is a good pill. This is a gospel pill. You take it with living water. It make, make it yours by the reason of use, and you will see great and wonderful and marvelous things. The Word of God works, but you just have to apply it. You just have to take it personal, and then it's an amazing thing that begins to take place. I do want to extend great prayer for children right now. All over the world, right now, I begin to release. I call upon great and mighty angels, the ministering spirit sent forth from God to aid us who are the heirs of salvation. In Jesus Christ, holy and wonderful name, whoa, you great and mighty angels, respond to the word that's awesome and true. There's nothing impossible for our God to do, so we pray for little children all over the earth. We put an end to this terrible dearth. We speak words of truth. We just turn them loose. We've been created for the master's use. You need to get ignited, excited, and delighted about this word because God is saying you're going to have to move on what you've heard. If you desire the benefit, the procedures right now, all you got to understand is Judah's praise, and praise is like a plow. You begin to break up the fallow ground of the soul of man. Don't you understand? Don't you comprehend that Jesus Christ had paid the price for all kinds of sin, every evil thing that has ever been done? And by his stripes, healing has been done. Healing has been won. So we begin to apply the blood of the Lamb of God that taketh away the sin and the sickness and the shame of the earth. And we release into this atmosphere the revelation of this awesome new birth, praying for little children. Oh, my God, my Lord, my King, we pray for these precious babies. We do it right now with the Word in our heart. We say, oh, my God, those that are oppressed and down, give them a fresh start. Angels, angels, respond to this truth. Go find those little babies and just set them loose. Father, we thank you right now that we come in your name, in the name of Jesus, in the name, in the name of the great Messiah. And we say, you spirit of abortion, we've come to abort you. You evil thing. You have come on the face of this earth. You came bringing with Pharaoh so long ago the destruction of the babies. Oh, Father, I see there's always, always the path that you have made for the escape of the anointed. Lord, I thank you right now. I thank you just as surely as Moses was put in a little basket and floated right into Egypt and that he was preserved served as a deliverer. Father, I thank you that Jesus Christ just got up and left when the slaying of the innocents was coming and went right into Egypt. Lord, I thank you that in this season and in this time that you're bringing forth an army of men and women and those that the corporate body of Christ are going to come right out of this uh, assignment for death and destruction and all kinds of wickedness, and we're going to float right into the Egyptian season, and we're going to come forth as mighty men and women, deliverers to set captives free. This is no ordinary thing that God would speak. He said, it is a season for you to know that in Christ you're strong and not weak. It's time to make a decision and say, here am I, because great Jehovah God, he cannot lie. He said, if this is the time that you will agree that I have given you the power to set 
others free. If you will understand and draw close, then I can fill you with the Holy Ghost and give you power to be released. Don't you understand? I'm created you to be kings that decree, declare, and proclaim, and priests that will stand in my place, bringing the people to God and God to the people in this day. Hear the word of God. It's the season to choose to obey. Now, the sickness that's been upon the land, oh, Father God, this is not a request, but it is a command. In the authority of the Holy One, I stand and I release the word of God like a king and a priest. Father, I thank you that this prophetic voice has made a choice to agree with truth. Father, this day, we do decree, declare, and proclaim that it is our faith that we believe the reason Jesus came was to set the world free and to turn things around. And this is a season that those have been bound, those bound by drugs and alcohol and excuses in this day. We come and say, no more delay. Angels, angels, the superior air power that has been given, it is the time that we understand this is why we're living such a time as this that we have been created to let the voice of God be released in the day. Believe me, beloved, you can begin to have what you say. If you say you're down and you say you're out, and if you say you're oppressed and you have no clout, if you say you're sick and you are oppressed and you're giving all this understanding and comprehension to your flesh, then you can have what you say. You can have it right away. But if you begin to say, I am who God says that I am, I am redeemed from the curse of the sin of law and death and all these negative things, begin to agree with God. Begin to say, oh, Father, in this time, in this hour, right away, I choose to say the things that will make God happy. Do you understand that you have the power to cause joy for God, for God's pleasure. We are created. I read it in the book. I know it's true. I asked the Lord, what makes you happy? Tell me right away. And this is what Jehovah God said to my heart. This is what he had to say. The one and only thing that pleases me is me. Oh, now that was upset religious traditions of the mind of man. But you've got to understand the wonderful, wonderful plan when God says what it takes to please me is me. So God made a decision. He talked with God. God met with God and God talked to God. And this is what God said to God. Only thing better than God, hmm, would be more of God. So now God's infinite plan is when he formed and shaped an ordinary man, that he would breathe his breath upon him and convert him into a son of God. Not just a piece of mud, just a little piece of sod. You have to make a choice to agree with this truth. You've got to tell that sinful Adamic nature, I have no use. You have to be reckoned dead, you old thing that came right away because the Word of God says, I've got to believe what Yahweh has to say. You hear this little rhyme that I'm giving loud and clear, but the Word of God says that His desire is that out from you He may appear. The coming of Christ, we say, oh, he's coming down. Don't you understand the joy of the Lord that must be found? He's coming up and out of a people of worship and praise. So we will stand as saviors in these last days. We will speak words. We'll heal the sick. We'll do it real quick. We'll speak words of truth. We'll tell the devil, you got to get out of here. You're without an excuse. We'll be able to speak things as a corporate man. It is a time and a season. You must learn it's not a request, but it's a command. Men and women standing in this place, releasing revelation of God's mercy and amazing grace. It's a choice that has to be made. Do you desire to let His glory, His goodness be displayed? This is the plan of God to conform you and me into His sons. Don't you know this is a marvelous thing when He says every war has already been won? From God's perspective, all things are finished and done and through, and we're seated in heavenly places, administrating amazing graces. But while we wait for the fullness of his cup, then God says, this is the season. You've got to get up. You've got to begin to shake off the dust and begin to trust that God says, listen, it is the time for you to agree that God's in love with you and me. It's the time that you say, Lord, whatever you say, I simply say yes, and I'm no longer consulting with this servant called flesh, these five professors that are proclaiming facts. No longer, no longer will I think I'm in lack. Father God, in Jesus' name, we release into the realm of the ever-present now. 
Lord, we thank you for these mighty angelic beings that are hearkening to perform the Word of God, that we're sending up vapor, God, and you're sending down rain. We're sending up the Word of God again and again. And as we send up this Word, we say, angels of God, run right away, heal the sick. Touch the lives of men and women that are in terrible despair. Father God, we do, we do indeed, we truly love and we truly care. So we do the thing that only we know to do, the thing that your word says is awesome and true. Who will agree with God? Who will simply just turn their faith in the direction of the Holy One and begin to raise their hands and say, oh my Lord, every war has already been won. Now from that place of rest, that place of grace and mercy, you must now begin to say, Father, we thank you that we are the healed, we are the delivered, and we are the prosperous. I release this upon you. I speak it into you from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. The revelation, not just information, that in Christ you are complete. Father, we thank you right now that as we have prayed these prayers, as we have prophesied into the atmosphere, we thank you that you're doing amazing things. We have sent the word and we have spoken to these angelic beings, these ministering spirits sent forth from God to aid us who are the heirs of salvation. They're going out and they're taking the word of truth. Now in this time, we're without an excuse. Every price has been paid. Now, Lord, let your glory be displayed. Let your people hear. Let them be activated and ratified. Let them come to the place that they say, I have been prophesied. I have had the word of God released to me. This is the day. Believe you're free. This is Dr. Clary's Fluid, your supernatural life coach, telling you I love you with the love of the Lord, and I know something good happened today. God bless you.